main unit. What are we doing, Jermaine? Uh, we're, here, we're here to disassemble a turbo. So I brought you this turbo and I said to you, uh, do you want to take this apart? Because you've been asking me uh, that you wanted to learn on how to take one of these apart. So yeah, yeah. we finally got one here that you can take apart. Yeah, so here we've got a nice T28. T28, yeah. Yeah, what's this come off of? This uh, S14 turbo. So I'm assuming off an uh, SR20. SR20. That's it. Right, okay. SR20 black top, if you want to be specific. Right, okay, okay, good. Good. Potentially pictures of the car in the video here. Yeah, potentially. potentially. <laughs> uh, okay, so what we've done so far is crack these four bolts going around the exhaust side. Yeah. Uh, once I did that, I marked for the oil feed, if you look closely, sure, I use this stamp here. It's just stamp a dot in here to remind me which side oh, it needs to be is. facing. Yeah, that's and then, pretty straight on the camera too. No, I'm there's another one it. here. Should we look at that? Is it? That one's a little off, but oh uh, yeah, that's okay. okay. <laughs> that's okay. I know how to do these. All right, now that's cool. All right, now so we can. Um... That's what we've got to so far. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna proceed, and my destination is just. Take these four bolts completely off now. Yeah. Is that so yeah. yeah, you just take these four off, and then okay. you're gonna find yourself that even though you've taken the bolts out, the housing won't move. Right. And so that's when we're gonna have to. To the middle. Obviously. Yes, and we're gonna have to get our friend, this guy up here. We need. Oh, the, right. okay. We need. Yeah, we need okay. him. This, yeah, this thing needs a beating. So. Okay. <laughs> Where I come from, when beatings is. Second nature. Damn. So that's really easy. That sounds peak. <laughs> I can relate though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're getting a ass beat, man. We can't say the wrong thing. It's that's done. Great. So, Jermaine, I seem to have run into a little issue here. Okay. <laughs> so, bolts are this long. Oh, and this gone. Oh, okay, that is in that box. No, no, I've got it. I've got it. Okay. So, the bolts are about this long. Okay. Uh, and as you can see, as the rest of the bolts are coming out, uh, I see he's hitting one, there. And that one in particular. Well, that one's barely coming out. Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming we go on to the other side first. No, we actually. No. no. So okay. the trick to this, now you've backed that bolt out all the way out that you can. Right. Now you need to hit this with a hammer. Oh, that's some pussy shit. I just don't you're, want to damage it. You're hitting it like a bitch. Okay. What are you doing, bro? Take the camera. What? Take the fucking camera. What the fuck? Take you the camera. Smash the shit. Okay. The okay. This is how you supposed to do it. That's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So now we finally have that off. Some four bolts. Now I'm assuming we're going to this. I don't do so. I'd like I don't like to do that. that's so we have the seal plate that goes between the compressor housing. And the core. Right. This is a separate part. This is a separate part, and this separate part. Right, okay. So I like to start with in here. There's a snap ring that takes out the core from the housing and the, oh, leaves the seal it. plate and the housing together. Do you have the? I do. The black ply is there. That's it. Nice. First try. You know how difficult these are. Yeah, I know some of them can get stuck. Yeah. Difficult. Yeah, you're having a good day. This turbo is treating you well. There we go. Pull it. That's it. That's the core out. Yeah. Okay, and the part we're working on, I'm assuming now, is the core. That's the one, yeah. We can put these aside. Yeah, we can put these aside. That's coming off, I'm assuming, yeah. That is coming off. Okay. Well, I have to grab it from the other end as well. You Stop have. it spinning. Yes. Okay. Um, you know what? It's fiddly. It's not easy. Yeah. I'll make it look very easy. You do. You do make it look easy. How the fuck do you do this? And then, actually, you know what? I wanted to keep these clean. Um, too much power. 
Okay. I feel like I'm gonna stop recording till this is apart. Yeah. <laughs> this might take a while. Take take one. <laughs> One attempt. See how I told you, I'm, it's resting against the table, but I'm supporting it with my hand, so the spanner mm -hmm. can't slip off, and then you have all your pressure at the end. Okay, the end. but did you feel how loose I made it though? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's tight. Okay, so. You can do this. You just so. pull that compressor wheel off now. That's very stuck on there. Normally you can use a hammer, but. I'm gonna not use a hammer. That's it, to test your skills. There we go. You're the same guy that calls me a monkey because I'm black. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not true, bro. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut, cut the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I might do an exclusive episode <laughs> that you could pay for yeah, way more yeah, this shit yeah, is. Yeah, 100%, man. <laughs> exclusive episodes with all the fuck shit. Hey, it's kind of true, though. You know what? That channel would have more content than, you know, the actual channel. Yeah, it would. See, like, even that, I have to cut out now. Yeah. Uh... He says, while he can't even take apart a turbo. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be edited out as well. Well, it only took him like 20 seconds because this guy is a pro, but, you know, I'm trying to drag it out to make it look bad because yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm jealous of this... the skill that he possesses on this. Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. You slow down the video, didn't you? Yeah, man. Yeah, this is all slow motion. Yeah, it's all slow mo. Only a minute now. Okay, maybe a minute and a half. Pull it, man. Brother, get a grip on it, man. On there, brother. It doesn't screw on there. I didn't screw. Okay, now you need to take the shaft out. Pause. Everything <laughs> 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 I told you to tap it. That was very unsafe. Live life on the edge. You don't live it at all. <laughs> So the oil we're seeing here, is that a possible cause of failure? That is, yes. Okay. It's been burning oil. Okay. So are we looking for a leak somewhere? Or are we looking for... Actually, well, you've got, if somewhere. you've got oil on the heat shield, then you're going to have a leak somewhere, aren't you? Okay. There we go. So that's fair. That'll be worn. Either that'll be worn on the... Or the bore in this housing is worn. So when the ring compresses, it leaves a gap. Instead of being like this, if you imagine like this, tiny, yeah. it would expand to like this, okay. and then it starts to leak oil. Okay. Just cause of wear. Thrust bearing wear can cause that as well, uh, for the piston, piston ring side on the turbine to wear out. Got the compressor wheel, let's have a look at the compressor wheel. How does that look? Any indication of problems? I don't see any scratches on it or where. Bar, like a tiny one here. There's a very minute scratch. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I can see that. It's not terrible. There's no damage on the on the inducer blades to show anything flying in. And let's see the back. It's not oversped, is it? No, it's just dirty. It looks okay. I don't see any damage on this. Like There's nothing you're going to be able to see with your eye unless the shaft is discolored, but the, the shaft looks good. Okay, and it's this ring that has the, too much play in it? It'll be worn. No, it's not. Or it'll be worn in the bearing housing. Most likely the bearing housing. No, okay. No, this don't look too bad. There's no crack to it. I see. Same pliers that you use. Much. Careful with these. When you undo the snap ring, you want to put your hand over it so it can't fly out, because that will fly. Damn, he's an expert. Professional God life. damn, that was clean. Uh huh. Okay. It's an ingenious way to do it. Thank you. And what's this plate? That's the seal plate. Seal plate, okay. It goes together with the the front seal. 
That's what stops the turbo from leaking oil out on this side. Doing the turbo job. Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know we're not sponsored or anything in it, which we should be sponsored. But this ratchet that Jermaine introduced me to is absolutely life changing. This is a good ratchet, yeah. It's a very good ratchet. <laughs> Ever since I use this, I, you know what? It's, it's, it's so it's good. And we're at Halfords, isn't it? Yeah. It's 20 I know, quid. I don't know if we're going to bleep the word Halfords out. <laughs> you're not sponsoring us but if if you know you made this please sponsor yes i would like that sponsor us with a few more of them don't be shy hit it properly that's him hit it properly okay. that's it there you go Got the first one action we're actioned okay so these these screws are the ones i just took out these little tiny things. Little tiny torque screws. And that releases this small plate here, which Jermaine is going to tell us is... Is both the thrust collar and the front seal in one. Is it magnetic? No. Okay, that was just stuck. Just oil. Version. Okay. So that seat's inside here. So this is the thrust collar. That's the thrust bearing. This is the thrust bearing, okay. Yeah. And this is the collar. The collar and the front seal, yeah. The collar is on the back because that's what rides on the on, okay, okay, okay. on the thrust bearing. And then this is the front seal. Yeah. You can see the piss ring on there. You can see the piss ring at the front? Same as the yeah, turbine yeah, shaft? Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, you need this. Okay. That's for the first journal bearing in there. Well, that's the journal for the shaft. So yeah. we can match this up. That'll be the front journal here. Okay, okay, okay. But there's no scoring, it doesn't look like there's any scoring. A little bit on the rear. That rear bearing you're not going to be able to take out. I would bet money. You're going to be here for like half an hour before you get that out. Okay. It's a bitch. You ever so, use a feeler gauge? No. One of these. So we got this cleaned up. So we can check the end seal gap. Ah, okay. So I'm assuming these, these are, all have sizes. Yeah. Plug them in. The different thicknesses. So... We want it really to be a 0.05 clearance. So get a new piston ring and just put it in. That's installed there. You check the gap of that. If anyone's wondering how this is so clean, it's uh, actually apparently a trade secret, so I can't tell you. Sorry. It's not really, I just didn't film it. But it's trade secret now. It is now. Might as well not tell. Do you guys think you can get it in? Too big. So what if it can't go in? Does it not fit? It doesn't look like it fits. It doesn't want to go in. It seems to be even too thin. Yeah, look at that. This, that's like together. That's good. That means there's still clearance. We want it to be tight. So is, is that better than? Yeah. Tighter the better. Yeah. So if a point one fits in there, I wouldn't. I would throw it away. Yeah. Point, it needs to be point oh five at the biggest. The point oh five is not going in. Okay, that's good then. That means it's under point five. Okay. So we're in clearance. That's a good sign. That is very shiny. Where's the stop? There we go. Upgrade in. Okay. Got these little back retainers out for the. Two pieces here. One side. Oh, the fucking key ringed up. There we go. There we go. So oh, there's a snap ring. Yep. Which came out first. And underneath that was this washer. Yep. And that's holding the rear journal bearing in. Which we're going to take out now. This end. Oh, with the proper end this time. Yeah. Did you make, make sure to put it in the hole of the bearing? No, yeah. yeah. Looks like I'm struggling a bit here, but there we go. And your hands offer a really good contrast to that bearing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Very dark. <laughs> it's no real big scoring. A little, you can see it a little bit, can't you? What, through the center? Yeah. yeah Something's gone through there, hasn't it? Oh yeah, look this, you can hear that. See the camera pick it up. 
Yeah, you can't hear that on camera. There's no way. No, I'll probably have to turn the audio up. Definitely a ridge in the middle. Yes, yeah, definitely. It's a little score, yeah, isn't it? Right. That's it. Apart. That's everything. Yeah, Easy. Ali's yeah. now learned how to rebuild his turbo at home. Yeah. If you want to learn how to rebuild your turbo in my workshop, I can let you do the service for ten thousand pounds an hour. Mm. If you want to come here and learn, I'll be the teacher. Yeah, Ali's gonna be the teacher. I'm gonna be here and watch. You know, everybody's gonna come here and watch and learn. Exactly. I need to cut the camera.